please be what's on here comics noel it's heavy 50 spider-man i've never found a big one that i'll have to look that one up <laughs> number 52 look at that look at this one I might have a little bit of a jackpot here if i found that one whoo -hoo, this book will sell in the thousands this would be over ten thousand <laughs> All right, here we are in this storage right here. What do we have? Went and took a quick peek the other day. I paid for it and then left. And I think uh, the medical Mergy wants the storage unit. This is what we got right here. Boom shakalaka. It is a nine by 13. The thing that made me bid on this, you know, is very simple. I always have like that one thing, right? That catches my eye. Well, there's sometimes more, but Burl tabletop. That's the first thing that caught my eyes. These tend to be worth money, like at least maybe 50 to hundred bucks. But the first glance is when you see stuff like that and you see the wood carved thing, you're thinking that's gonna be a good item, right? Well, come to find out, I think this is gonna be a little different than I expected because I found this sign, HempCon 2000 or uh, August 22nd and 24th. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically load this right now. We're gonna go through, we're gonna get all the furniture out. We're gonna load that first and we're gonna put all the boxes towards the back to be filmed back at my storage unit. Nectar, nectars, all right. Well, at least we got some boxes coming in. Maybe the black totes with yellow lids will be more. I think this is going to be a good one. That's what I'm hoping is deep. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say. I think these are going to be their products, which I'm praying for. The wall just goes back there. The burrow's cool. These were a shortage like a year ago. They're a little broken or uh, dirty and stuff. This one's going to be cleaned up real well. It's got that residue from the uh, medical tomatoes. Niz poster? Niz. It's just going to be weird things. We'll be doing some looking here later. Weird things. Looks like they're making jewelry. Maybe you can see the jewelry boxes here, but there's nothing in there. That has CDs and business cards. There's like these little clear diamond plastic jar things too in one of them. This is just baskets. Well, that's nice. That's a couple of them. Cool underneath. A box. Uh, oh, yeah. What goes in there? A mug. This is a kind of a cool piece right here. It looks like you put display stuff on it. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it might be brand new. It says countertop display wood base 37 by 18 by 8. Look, I cut myself. Aww. Wow. We got some cool stuff. I guess I guess it's cool. You're getting furniture. Things like this is like five, ten dollar bills. This is adding up for stuff like that. Hopefully, we're gonna find something inside of this unit though. Because what I'm doing is setting all the boxes aside again, and then we're gonna come back and film. Is that a nice one? I don't. It looks nice. Me. Should we save this for Evie? No. Why not? You only she'll enjoy that. Oh. All that nice music she'll play for us, and we could just sit there and go. Boom, 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 boom. No. All right. All right, well, that's a wrap for now. Take this stuff back to the warehouse. I got to come back another day and pick up the rest of that unit. And we will go through the boxes. Back here at my storage, which is, it keeps getting cleaner and then messier. Almost had a little bit of room in here. I'm going to start going through this stuff here from this unit. I, once again, I'm a little over 900 deep. I'm actually, I'm very happy about that display case. That'll come in real handy in Alameda. That box itself could make us thousands. And we're going to see what we got in here. Want to take up art, Uncle Mac? No, I don't need the art. It's just dishes. Okay. Pretty safe to say those are just personal dishes. We won't bore you with the box like that. That's the type of stuff you see on average in a storage unit. Only thing I see is this jacket up for 99 bucks. That's still cool because I think we can get 50 then. I won't say that's a good 50 at the Alameda flea market. And we're getting somewhere. They were printing these cranes. This is what legalized looks like in New York. They were putting out that magazine. Peel bottles, I don't know what that's for. I'd say medical grade tomatoes or something, you know? These are the lids for them. They, they might have been making jewelry or something, so it's hard to say if there's something in them or they're gifts or something, I don't know. Yeah, and how do you know which one has something? 
and which one doesn't. You gotta open up each one. Boxes. Yeah, I think it's going in boxes, yeah. Box of box and box. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there was none in there. Nope, it's all just the stuffing. But you know, someone's gonna want that. Maybe even, you know who might like this? I hate to say it, you're not gonna like that I'm gonna say it. Who do you know that gives gifts away all the time, makes stuff? Your wife. I was thinking maybe Rico on that other stuff. I don't know what all he does with it. I don't know. Who? Oh, I don't know if he does. Let's see what's inside of that one. I'm gonna, sp you can wrap, uh, open that. Something and I'm gonna right get on it. Yeah, let's see what it is. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's the same exact one I have here. Like, this thing is tight. This thing is gonna be really nice for Alameda because you could just set some nice stuff in there and, and no one can so steal it. Up with something that might get damaged. I'm gonna guess that's a $200 item. And I'm gonna keep it. And if that is one too, I think the same thing. I don't know why I would sell it, right? Why? Seems like Alameda is the market to do it these days and I'm setting up for saving stuff there. Wow. That's pack better than you, Uncle Michael. Yeah, it's exactly oh, what it is. Good. I hope you keep it that one too, maybe. Wanna try it? Maybe the key's inside and I didn't look. Oh, brilliant. You can put like knives in there and big jewelry. That's awesome, actually. I, I'm gonna definitely keep those. You gotta be worth a hundred bucks. Cause I wouldn't sell them. Your antique. And that says antique jars, so like I think that'd be a good antique one for you. Jars? Yeah. You're a jar expert. You're a jar head. That's exactly what it is. Mason jars. Now this one. Oh. Ball. That's Alameda. Perfect Mason. Those are probably twenty dollar jars. I actually one. look on the bottom. It says sixty. Let's see they're made. Oh, does say six hundred or six? Six. Okay. No, those are, I would sell them for 15 20 Please be what's on here. Please be what's on here. Comics, Noel, it's heavy. Ooh, I'm go. just kidding. I knew it was in there because I opened the lid up there. But I did not get a chance to look. And I've been waiting because I want to see a treasure. Wolverine number one. His last is his own monthly series. Excalibur. Spider-Man number one. Look at some cool comics here. Frank Miller's Ronin. That's weird. I don't know. I've never heard of that. Nick Fury vs. Shield. That could be a good one. Wolverine again, number one. Wolverine. So we have a lot. That could be that good one if there's the same one. Silver Surfer, number one. Nick Fury the Shield. Ooh. Holy crap. Is it like number one good? I don't know, but look at this. That's a number 50 Spider Man. I've never found a, like one that. Oh, I have to look that one up. Holy. <laughs> number 52. Look at that. Look at this one. Spider, uh, Superman. Superman. Twenty-five dollars says on it. This one's a night. Oh uh, wow, we're getting some cool ones. A twenty-five center. That's not bad. X Men, uh, the Avengers. This is the Stranger World. All right, those ones aren't bad. That gave me a little of excitement actually. There. Do you remember reading any of these as a kid, Uncle Michael? No, I really was never into comics. What were you into? Ch chasing girls. Oh, that's all right. Girls like comics too. Number six, the New Mutants. I'm setting aside ones that I naturally want to look up right away. That was cool. That one Superman got me excited. This one was a dollar. Yeah, that's, a, that's how you know they're a little newer. Nick Furry vs. The Shield might have some value. I'm not saying that these don't, but... Oh, wow. That one's in that's good a shape. 15 center. Look at the shape it's in, too. I see that. That's 15 Number center. 16. That's another 15 center. And sometimes these could be good. Like, what if this was the first time? It might, even though it's number 17, it could be the first time somebody was. <laughs> Look at that. I like that. Yeah, that was 12 cents. Yeah, number 55. Like, what if we found, like, number one? What if we found, like, a rare number one? Look at that. Number 50. I might have a little bit of a jackpot here. Do you know? I, I got to get a, I got a guy. You know a guy? Who do you think my, my comic guy is? Ooh. Silver Surfer number four. I don't know. That's I don't know, good. Justin. Good guess. What, what brought you to that? You got a freaking library of them. My rep man has too many comics. It's what he does. Oh. <laughs> number 200. I don't know if that's good, but that's... This was 350. I don't know when. That's not bad. I... I mean, I'm not saying this is the greatest collection of comics ever known to man, but this wasn't a surprise. This is not what I expected to find in there. 
comic book units go crazy, the pages are a little bit stuck together, but I don't think that means Excalibur anything for the books. Excalibur, Uncanny. Is that like uh, paper mache in there? I want to find some more of those old ones. They just they just intrigue me once I touch them. I'm going to teach Uncle Michael how to look stuff up. I don't want to learn. Come on! Nope. Aven Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. That's kind of cool. That one's almost cool. All right, we are one half of the way through there. Can you guys tell me right now if you think that this was a jackpot? Do you see any comics that are big bucks right off the bat? My guess it's is that first... 15 centers are going to be worse. I don't know. Yeah, there's a, it's a good possibility, but I don't know. That's the one. Center. The 50, the number 50 Spider-Man. If I had to guess, it would be that one so far. This Just one right here? Yeah, that's an older one. Okay. And, this, and I, don't, I don't even know. Even these newer ones can sometimes be valuable. A lot, I mean, I'm not saying like there could be like 5 to 10 bucks, but I'm thinking like sometimes they could be hundreds of dollars. I know. These Nick Fury stand out to me. Black, the Black Panther, Panther number, number one. one. Number ones are always good. The the first time somebody's been in something is always good. There's a lot of these Nick Furies. That one's cool looking. Which one, that one? Yeah, look at that. It's cool looking. I like that one. Wolverine Saga. Alien vs. Predator. That's kind of a, some really nice art. See that? We've had that one like six times. Interesting. I just don't really see a date or nothing. Ooh, look at that. First graphic novel. This could be something here, Uncle Michael. I don't like the way it's like that. See how it's I, a little dilapidated. Damage. Ninja Turtles are good ones. The Colt. Guys, Batman. This is Batman. I found a Batman comic. Batman the Colt. Starring this guy. Gotham. Look at that. Still look those up. Akiri. Akiri. Was that Akiri 1? Yes, it was. I don't have to look up Akira. Come on, baby. Superman one. Some of them are just sticking together. I see an old one coming. I see, ooh, Silver Surfer. How many Silver Surfer number ones are there, but each one is different? You notice that? Look at that. That's in pretty pretty okay shape. Batman, number 15 cents. That one has, Batman is falling off the water, and this guy's about to get him. But no, just in the last minute, Batman comes back. Oh, look at those old dollar bills. Whoo! Those are collector's items right there. Can we see them? Can you show them on, on the uh, in the light? There we go. Look at that. 1957. Yeah. What's that one say? 1981. Doesn't look as old. The other one has a blue certificate on it. Whoo! Look at that. That one's really old. 1963. What in the heck? Juan Peso. Ooh! Look at that one coming up. I see a nice looking one there. This no. one. 1957. Oh, it's Philippines. That is a neat little find. That just popped out of nowhere. And right about the same time, I was about to find this Batman. He was asking that. Uh, with the Boy Wonder and Superman featuring for the first time the Batman and Superman team of the future against the future Mudo Joker team. This is interesting. He had for $7.50 apiece, but I don't tell him when. Ooh, another one. Look at this. Batman, number 265. Weird, huh? Yes. The Punisher, Silver Surfer. I see some more potential old ones coming. Old ones are naturally the ones that I cling to. I know people can be like, Pyro, you don't know. Daredevil and Black Widow. Betty Webb, Black Widow. That, one, that one's not in a bag, oddly. Okay. The X-Force, still sealed. X-Force. Black Panther, Black Panther, Amazing Spider-Man, the X-Force again, ooh, ooh, ooh look at cents. that, too bad uh, Picker's Warehouse don't have a, uh, too bad he don't have an iPhone and we could FaceTime him, we could do like a lifeline thing here, the Green Goblin versus the Hobgoblin, there's some good ones though, I can tell you right now. Comment below if you guys want to see these coming up here soon. That's the only place I'm going to save these to sell them at. I always sell my comics. Uh, save them for y'all. A lot of things make it to the market. And there's a reason why. It just has to go to the market. We can't sell everything online. I always try to give y'all the first dibs on the comics. Ooh, what is this? $1.50. Oh, that was a nice one too. A giant size I think are cheaper. That's why I said ah. Oh. You know, that was naturally an older one. Uh, uh, just a fantastic four, number two. 
Look at that. That's kind of cool. Dang. Man, the amount of work that goes into making these things. I wish really he would have left that one in a plastic bag, too. The amount of money that goes into making them or the artwork? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It takes some time. 40 cents. Oh, bugging my ear. You're bugging my ear. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it? No. Here's the one you like before. You want to take a couple of these home and read them? No. Why not? I'm going to read that fine print. I can't even see. I'm not going to read it. Let's look one up. I'm going to go straight for the one that I thought was the best and just see what it says. I highly doubt we have this one like this great. Like, look. Look what they're... This is a grade at $8.5. $9,000. That's not a bad comic, though. This one here? Yeah. I don't think we... That's like a, a four or something. I know Picker's Warehouse would be like, that's not that great of a, a shape. But look. A 7.5, 3,000. It's not um, a bad shape. 3,000 for a number seven. Still. A 6.5. That's crazy. That's the best comic I've ever found, though, I think. And But look, I got something else. If I found that one, whoo -hoo, I don't know. Four, there's a four. Look, I, I'm guessing. See, look, you can look at the photos and shape. See the spine? We got to have something like that. Maybe not even a four. But that was 2000 I don't know. It's see? Still, look at the price on yeah. it. $2, yeah, that's sold. That yes, was sold exactly 2000, 2000. We're going to have to do some. Uh, might have to grade these. Maybe we'll grade. I've never graded comics. Wow, 4.5, 4.5. Maybe it's, I don't know. I'm going to have to call my lifeline now. Yeah, I just want to call you real quick, Justin, because I'm right now I'm touching uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 50. Amazing Spider-Man 50? Yeah, 12th 12 Center. Cents. It is the first appearance of somebody, uh, the first appearance of the Kingpin. And that is just one comic. I just got a whole collection. This is the first one I decided to look up. I think I it's actually a, I'm familiar with that book. I have that book. It's all it's like an all red cover, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. What's the condition look like? For, it'd probably be a grade four or five. I just was looking that one up, but I got a handful of them here. I was thinking I could tell you them too, see if you know what they are. Sure, go ahead. We got uh, the X Men number ninety six. That's probably not something. It's a twenty five center. Uh, I mean, early X Men could be good. I would say X Men ninety six, probably about hundred bucks. Wow. Okay. Uh, by the way, Pickers Well, say hi to my uh, my camera and the whole world. Hello, Michael's camera and the whole entire world. And the <laughs> whole entire world. Guys, I, I had to call an expert. My expert is here. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to say hi to the camera? You're going to be bashful for like five minutes, then you're going to start climbing his walls, huh? That's okay. That's how we do it. She don't like camera time either? <laughs> My little ones, they, they freaking live for it. <laughs> it's just the coloration. So this is, yeah, it had, had Oh, I can see damage. what you're saying. So you can see, it can be pressed out. The color's gone. That's okay. Well, you told me that these three right here were definitely good ones. Okay. But I should just eBay them, right? I don't need to grade these. Um, I mean, you could. But yeah, if you leave it up to the... If they're not great looking, sometimes it's better not with comics. Uh, I'm just, what I'm gonna do is eBay because the little woman and I eBay and she likes to make money too, so she eBays a lot of things that I wouldn't. So this one time, Mike was trying to figure out what to call my subscribers, and I remember this. I'll never forget it. He called them Warehouseians. Warehouseians. Can we think of a better word than Warehouseians? Because he said Pickers. It has to be the last word, right? You kinda. But he said Warehouseians. So Pirates Warehouseians. <laughs> Mike found comic books in a bleep that out growing unit and uh he found some really good books all these are good five ten dollar books five ten dollar books very cool twenty thirty dollar books stuff like that very very cool well, that's your your gift you got that one that's my gift i get to keep that how cool is that i'm gonna read that to my son and my daughter if she'll sit through it but this is a piece of history very very important i love one it. of my favorite nintendo games this whole pile if you guys can tell good books good books good books the whole thing is good books this these were books that I pulled out that I liked, that I thought were really good books. You know, some average books, but some really st still important books. Some cool ones. There's the uh, Wolverine one. It's not the orange background, but it's still cool. Orange will be better. Yep. The Nam number one, Black Panther number one. Just cool books. You know, maybe not the most expensive, but stuff that people are going to want. Well, yeah, sure. these were like 30 bucks a piece on eBay. And he's got five of those. So that, I mean, that's a percentage of the unit right there. This is the second appearance of Deadpool. Pretty cool book. Everybody loves loves Deadpool. Then, now these books, five ten dollar books, not that important, but these books come sealed with the trading card. Mike has two of them with Deadpool cards. Rookie cards. Yep, so the Deadpool card is actually more valuable than the comic. 
So the Deadpool cards are more valuable than the book itself. Those will make this book sell for more than the book itself. Very, very cool. We got another New Mutants 100. We got another second appearance of Deadpool. Very, very cool. Now we start getting to some of the bigger money books. This is a great book. Spider-Man No More. Very, very good book. Decent shape. This pile here is gonna pay for Mike's storage unit. This little pile is gonna pay for all that. All that. All that is paid for with just this pile. All this is free. You guys know how it works. What do you value that one at? I can't remember the exact that I gave. That is beautiful red hair, kind of auburny. I did this one on the phone with a more exact um, uh, price, so you just saw that. I don't want to misquote it. Did you say 500? I must have. <laughs> I think I looked it up and it was like seven, 800 raw, but then like fours were like a thousand or more. Yeah, it's an important book. I don't want to misspeak. We don't want to misspeak, but there's a pot potential of $500 here. Now this, very, very iconic. This is the book that made me rush down here. Don't mind my Jurassic Park Band-Aid. This is the book. I'm stuck on Band-Aids, because <laughs> Band-Aids stuck on me. I was on the phone, and I said, do you happen to have a Spider-Man book that has 300s written all over it? Uncle Mike pulled it out. It was like the second book on top. Historical book, high grade. This book just sold in a 9.8 for $6,000. We're gonna check on the quality of this one. There may be some condition issues, maybe some coloration. Still a very desirable book. I have this one probably in like a 9.6. And is yours graded? It's not, but I, I suggest you grade it. I think I should. So my the book I have looks perfect, except for has one little like booger there, kind of like that. And my dude thinks that that would bring it down to a nine six. No, is, no spine ticks. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I love it. You haven't even touched it then. I look at it like once every six months just to remind myself that it's there. <laughs> and uh, so, is that your best comic? No, I have first appearance of Rhino. I have some books, kind of like what we're about to show. So Mike found something. Even cooler than this, can you believe it? Cooler than this. This was a very important book. Very, very cool. I wish you had a stack of these. Huh. But that makes me wonder how many times I sold this. I think I've, you know, that's what. I'll tell you a story before we look at the last. Mike put this book on his auction and I drove the bid up because I wanted to buy it, but it was about to sell. The pile was about to sell for 60 bucks. And I said, no, not on my watch. I went 300. This is before the comic book boom. This was back when this book was probably worth 300. Who won it? Uh, a, a woman, that's all I remember. Oh man. Someone in the auction has it right now. They end up bidding like 325 and they got it. So this may not be the most valuable book, but to me, this is the most exciting thing. There is something better. We have the <laughs> first appearance of Supergirl. <laughs> first appearance of Supergirl. And that's gotta be Hawk's year of the show. I mean, dude, this is major. We're gonna look into the condition. There, you know, obviously it's a really old book. It's a 10 center. Action Comics 252, go ahead and look it up, guys. This book will sell in the thousands. This book will sell in the thousands, ungraded. That is my opinion. I know comics pretty well, that's my opinion. This is the score on the table. This is the big score. It's starting to rain, huh? Oh, great. But isn't that amazing? Pirates, pickers, warehouseians. It's amazing Spider-Man. It is. How cool is that though? Look at these three monsters. This pays for Michael's unit. This pays for Pirate's unit. And then some, just these three That's books. gotta be close to 2,000. Daddy. Somewhere in there, Daddy. depending on condition. Daddy, His name's Storage on 1,500 maybe. I'll tell you this guys, if these books were all in mint condition, Daddy, Daddy. this would be over 10,000. This would be like 15,000. And this I haven't even like gone through the rest of the boxes. We have just started on this unit. Could be some more. Could be some more. I heard about this book, I rushed right over because this showed me that the collection was uh, very important. Obviously these books too, but for kids my age, that's a that's an amazing deal right there. Great job. I think it's safe to say we swung the bat and we hit a home run. Subscribe to Pickers Warehouse TV. It's raining. We're in a circus. <laughs> Isn't it weird pedaling? It's like you're going. It's okay, baby. Da, 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 da. Every time I tried riding it, I wanted to do a pop of wheelie every time I did a down thrust. Well, I got a little bit more weight than you. It's raining. You want to sit on this? Can she ride a bike? She can't ride this weird ass thing. Weird I, butt thing. I think the girl, I, I, thought, I told Jess we're going to keep it. I think the girls will get a kick out of it. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to sell it for? Like 50, 60 bucks for tops? Maybe. Razor's cheap. Can you put your hand on it? Now, can you pedal? I got you. I'm not going to let you fall. Go ahead, pedal. You're doing better than I did. You want to do a wheelie? Hold on tight. Hold on to the bars. Storages are always fun. <laughs>